So, uh, well, I'm not sure what the final version will look like on YouTube at the time that I'm saying this statement. I'm assuming after some editing, we'll have like a little mini compilation of uh, our out of bounds shenanigans. But let's actually proceed with the plot. We can always go back to the other place. We made a save. So we'll leave that save where it is. And yeah, let's, uh, I guess, use some of what we learned messing around and try to go out of bounds. But progress the game this time, I promise. Although it was nice to go out of bounds. It's just unfortunate it kind of became a guess where the real floor is game. I did not guess in order to proceed, so I don't feel like spending more time on that. It is definitely a shame that there's no like save states or anything that could be done to uh, expedite that process. Otherwise, I think we would have had it in literally a session versus spending like 20 minutes getting back to the same spot or like eight minutes even. Let's go widescreen. Thank you for the welcome backs. I guess I'll load up the file that has less XP, because I don't need it. And we'll save over the other file. Trials of Mana. So we'll go to this file. I'll save over the 11 hour file. This one had a pretty good setup for out of bounds testing. So we're still gonna go a little out of bounds. We'll just do it in a way that's useful to the run. <laughs> there we go, we gotta remember to turn dash on. Heaven forbid, champ, it's automatic. Oh, almost first try. So close, come on. This part's not even hard, it's just lining it up. It's a little tricky. I'm catching on something I don't normally catch on. There we go. As long as we don't get trolled by teammates, this shouldn't be too bad. So we're going to go on our magical little journey in the official playthrough. We're just doing normal things. No, very normal. Don't don't worry about it. Oh, I actually fell inbounds. Ooh, that's rare. Unfortunate. Got a little too fast on the draw there. Oops. Making some mistakes. I think because I'm tired, unfortunately. It's not a hard input to do. This one's more about lining it up. There we go. Try this again. If I had gotten that in one try, that would have actually saved a bunch of time. But now it's probably about time even, because I got to redo this part again. Oh well. Such is life. I'm going to line up a little better. I'm looking at the rocks down below. We're taking it a little slow here. Little baby jump. And then we just... Come over here. <laughs> If I saw Flock here, I'm going to feel so sad, though. This is the one that was inconsistent when we played. This jump is a little weird. Alright, so let's try to go inbounds this time. I'm going to go here. There we go. No, we're back inbounds. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> it skips having to walk through several battles. And then we get to the hind area of this, so I could just activate this. Which to me is hilarious. So we just open that if we need it in the future. Yeah, yeah, we need to be level 38. We're not quite 38, so that doesn't really apply to us. These things are actually worth good XP. I'll, I'll fight these real quick. We were pretty close to leveling, if I recall. So we should take one fight. 
silver item seed yeah i have a feeling we could come back inbounds over here but we were not quite able to figure it out maybe we'll have a bonus video if i get bored later on while playing i'll come back to it i think this fight is worth taking Interesting that enemy was immune to the knockback from that. Simple combo there, real combo there. One more battle like that will level us. Here we go. The sword just ain't for me. You try. Oh, so only the main character can try to grab it? I don't think we've ever seen this cutscene before. Let's try to make Charlotte grab it. Interesting. So yeah, we unintentionally skipped those cutscenes before. Now Angela, the very worthy hero, will get the sword. Oh, don't rush it. You have to feel the connection to the sword in your heart. <laughs> that would be pretty funny if she couldn't grab the sword. She is one of the least worthy characters to get the sword, by far. She does not deserve the sword. I mean, her mo her motive is like half, I want mother's approval. Like, that's so bad. <laughs> her character motive is so bad. I like how like nobody sees this too. I got to it before my mother. Fairy, did you see? Uh, fairy? Nice read there, lady. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, come on, fairy. Where are you? I got the sword like you wanted. Now what do I do? the shadow of the goddess of mana angela true wielder of my sword you are the goddess of mana well do you know where fairy ran off to fairy was taken prisoner by the forces of evil udana apparently plays Afinia. What? new lore please you must go to her evil what <sighs> that doesn't help me Please, goddess, how do I save Fairy? And and how am I supposed to use this sword? I don't understand. Mana has all but disappeared from the world. Soon, the mana tree will wither and die, and I will be no more. There is nothing more that I can do for you all, except leave you with this. Sorry, Vuskov. the mana sword as well as your companions. May the blessings of mana be with you always. No, wait! Uh, 
<laughs> our hero, everybody. Something like that. I don't think there's any interesting ways back from where we're at. I guess we could briefly look. Yeah. Harry's gone. How could they take her? Don't this one is so annoying. Well, no. The wing lights. How's that? That's how it's Come on. So close to leveling, but not quite. Yeah, I don't see any fun trees to potentially go on. I see trees on the other side that we could probably use to clip out of, or clip back into bounds, I mean. So I see a lot of potential on how to come in. It's just unfortunate we didn't figure out the other way. But hey, that'll be for another time. And again, I'm thinking about recording me messing around with it. Just in case magic happens. Okay, that should level Charlotte. What can I say? Nice. As I said before, they're actually worth decent XP, so I might as well kill them. And now all the other enemies should be replaced by the Rabbites. And definitely when we revisit this at the end of the game, I want to explore a little bit. Because I know the terrain does change a little bit. I'll let the game heal me if they want to. We're near a statue, so it doesn't really matter. Nice. I'm not even sure what the other statue does because we skipped it, which is kind of funny to me. Like, remember how there's like the other pedestal as like a path is opened? We, we never went down the other path. That was kind of funny. So we could still do something with it, I think. Hello, cutscene. What? Cormond! Uh, are you the one who took Fairy? Don't be ridiculous. It wasn't me. If it were, I would have done away with all of you and stolen the sword instead of waiting here. You think so, huh? No, oh, please. I'm speaking hypothetically. It pains me to see the Sword of Mana right in front of me. But I have orders to leave you whole. The one who stole fairy from you also obliterated my master, the Masked Mage, along with his entire fortress, Mirage Palace. My hands are tied. If I don't do as they say, they won't let me live. And so I am only here as a messenger. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. I'm well aware that they will do away with me once I've fulfilled my purpose. I'm merely cooperating until I can make my escape. Huh? Well, there I go, rambling on again. I'm sure you can tell that your enemy is the epitome of evil at this point. <laughs> They're waiting at the entrance to the sanctuary. There, that's done. Word of advice, it's best to just admit defeat. Farewell! Where's he, you meanie? Uh, who? Oh, right. <laughs> the magic corrupting him is um, probably lifted now that my master is dead. I heard it left him quite confused, however. <laughs> we lost track of him, but good riddance. I have better things to worry about than his well-being. Like mine. Goodbye. <laughs> I promise, I'll find you as soon as 
Unless we defeat this bad guy. Oh, I got hit. Oh well. This should level me. Unless this just unlocks a shortcut over there. Oh, maybe that's what it did? Interesting. I might as well unlock it then. It is over. All of it. Now his dark majesty can never be revived. <laughs> Got that line Master. delivery. His dark majesty sacrificed his life by using a forbidden spell to bring the dark stone from Mabolia to this realm in order to gain access to the sanctuary. Revived. In this sort of <laughs> manner, we would then revive him. Together we would turn this world into our new homeland of Mavolia. But a new enemy came and destroyed my master's corpse. Now his soul is trapped forever in darkness. Lost to us. Just like the mana sword. We were utterly defeated. <sighs> Malokio thought we might still be able to obtain the sword ourselves in order to bring Mavolia to this realm. But a world without his dark majesty. I could not bear the thought. That cowardly fool. Malokio's pettiness was an insult to his dark majesty's memory. So I destroyed him with my own hands. Don't worry. I intend to follow soon. His dark majesty was the reason for my existence. This is farewell. <sighs> dot 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 indeed. Here we go, chat. The true evil. to retrieve your fairy you will bring the sword of mana to castle altena the true queen awaits you your highness what uh, wait my mother won't get away with this uh, everyone was probably waiting for you to get the sword for them that's why they took Fairy hostage! What do we do now? This is a trap. <laughs> I know. I know that. But I have to stop my mother. I have no idea why she wants the sword so badly. No matter what her reasons, I cannot let her do this. Let's find her. And get Fairy back. I can use magic now, and we even got the sword before anyone else. I'm sure if I can explain the situation, my mother will listen to me now. The true queen is no coward. Let's go back to my homeland. To Altena. There we go. Time to fly away, I suppose. I thought the game is like, hint. Why don't you call the dragon, dummy? Uh, anything I want to do at the night market before we go further? Uh, I 
this should be fine. Be right back, chat. One second. is always getting in the way. I won't let him do anything to Fairy. Sorry about that. Let's continue. Into Altina we go, I guess. Oh no, chat. Monsters have taken over the castle. So there is no little cactus here. That's good to, to know. Makes sense, because I feel like they're mostly in dungeons. Maybe not optional towns. Well, lots of wares to browse. Um. Ooh, exciting. Oh, good choice. I'll make use of this. Guess I'll buy all the weapons. <laughs> Cat's happy they don't get to see it soon. And most of our money back. Not gonna bother with armor again. The inn was at the beginning of the town. Whoops. I'll pick these up. Matches is still in the castle. What do we do? Heard there's mercenary known as Dark Shine Knight. It was hired recently. The monster's still got in the castle. Mm hmm. It's very peaceful music for what allegedly is happening. No items around the inn. I'm throwing some candy. Lumina icon, more vitality, hand axe. Eh. We'll go to sleep. Welcome. We're not in a rush. She just could be in danger. We'll just sleep it off. She'll be fine. Sure, we'll save again. Save over the save file. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, there's 12 treasure boxes we haven't found. Take this. What the cruising wizard won't get away this time. That was an absolute massacre, by the way. Leave it to me, Wookiees. Let's go in the church there. It's kind of crazy there's like that many more chests that we haven't seen. There's a chest in here we forgot. Guard ring, not the useful. More chests up here, one on. Although I guess since it's the starting area, we're not really gonna get anything too exciting. I guess we'll go this way. At least we could say I kind of explored, just not very well, because we're going to be missing a lot of chests. 
Oh, the flame is weak, chat. Rip the flame. Mostly just looking for seeds. Yeah, there we go. Maybe we should run. Hmm. Uh. Oh, we could go downwards. Oh, what's all? What's all this? Uh, we'll come back here. Or maybe we do need to go down. Actually, the barrier is blocking the path. Oh no. Chad, you know what the, you know what game this reminds me of, right? Maybe. Why does it feel like I should be able to glitch up here? Almost. Don't keep me I'm on the Come on. There's not like quite a good enough angle to jump up here. I'm pretty sure we could probably find some magic pixel. But we can't find it here. Freddy's white cat. Oh, I wasn't even thinking that. That's true. Can we break the game? Maybe not that way. I do want to try clipping where we're not supposed to go. This one is so I'll give you a hint, Chad. The level I'm reminded of specifically is an aqueduct that is in the starting town. Well, not quite starting town, but one of the main castles in the game I'm thinking of. Welcome, Kirk. Hope you're doing well. Hint number two, Nick Leo. Ah, <laughs> oh, geez, where do we go from here? So this is a dead end. So what's over this way? Is there a treasure chest? Keg. Yeah, there's... Uh, see, there's not really a lot to really clip on. Like, arguably on the slippy slide, I might be able to uh, zip up if I find the right angle. But again, that's more guesswork than being guaranteed. Like, at least I can generally tell what will bring us out of bounds. Why would I go in this room? It's horrible. Never going in there. So we're doing pretty good damage to them, so I'm not afraid to bully them and get XP. I definitely do not want to fight the uh, robots unless we have to. So I want to do this to stun them so they don't get to do anything. Because they have high health and a shield, which makes them super annoying. Oh, I didn't stun him. Unfortunate. Alright, what was over here? Was this even worth it? Kind of. You can see even though we're a couple of levels under, we're even on hard mode, we're basically combo killing them. It shows you how overpowered the class strike combos are. Bonk. Nice, Charlotte caught up. Uh, was there any other training I wanted to do? I don't think there was. Yeah, not really. Oh, I guess I could teach him healing. Sure, if the AI uses him, whatever. Let's give her strength. So she'll do slightly more damage now. Feels like a mimic. Oh no, it's not. Wow, how kind. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, 
This this area would be so fun to go out of bounds in, but there's nothing to really... Unless I get, like, a torch, like, can I boost off the torch in a weird way? Please attack. Why are you not attacking? So I, I can get torch height. So I wonder if Kevin could go out of bounds here. Like, basically, you just want two objects really close to each other, and then bad things will happen to the game's physics. Just the best way to summarize it. If you're, like, perfectly wedged between things, then you weird things will happen. But you can't have something above you, or else you don't get the right height. So, like, I can't do that, because I'll bonk off of this. I might be able to boost off of this. If I could get him to cooperate. No, I can't get him to cooperate. That's fine. Feels weird doing a dungeon mostly as intended. It's like, I just want to go up with some, like, magic lantern and just zip straight out of bounds. As you can see, we can get some pretty good height. But there's nothing to land on is the problem. I try this one more time. Oh, I boosted over my teammate. Stupid teammate. Yeah, it's like I could just barely knock it enough height. So, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to check this again without completely replaying the game because Kevin can't reach this area normally. Unless uh, Angela or Durin is the protagonist. But those torches are looking real good. For shenanigans. I'd like to point out they literally one-shot my uh, teammate there. I'm totally weak? Is that what she said? That's a line. Yeah, so sadly there's not like and look maybe this angle? No. It's not quite angled enough. Yeah, the other condition is that in order to get a good height, the thing we're touching has to be angled away from us. And this is angled away, but the problem is if there's like little gaps in it, we won't get the true height that we need. So just showcasing we're not getting height off of that. So there, there's like a little more nuance to two things are together, try to clip. But not much. And that combo attack is so overpowered. So presumably this will break the seal. There we go. I like that, that, like, for the most part, the game is guiding you with stars, but it's nice they give you a challenge where the stars don't just immediately tell you where to go. Yeah, sadly can't clip through there. Hmm. Torch facing an open area. Curious. Him, please. You know what I want. Do your do your little dash attack thing. No. So we can boost off of it, but it's not as high as the other ones. I think it's I have to approach it from the other side. Also, our teammates in the way. Come on. Him, please. Why is he not attacking? I want to know why that happens. Like, I'm hitting jump and then attack, like, really close together, just so chat is aware. It's not like I'm not pressing the button, just literally nothing happens. It's crazy. Alright, whatever. It's not cooperating. I don't feel like messing with that further. So now we should be on the other side here. We could check around the corner for items. Four cups of wishes. That's probably good. So we go up really high, but I still see him inbounds. Unfortunate. Guess I'll pop these just to heal, get meter. Yeah, this is the one where it'd be interesting if we could go backwards. So I'll try like a couple of attempts here. <laughs> As I get denied by the day-night cycle. Um... 
Ooh, there's not really like a corner to it. Almost? That look that looked like that should have given it to me. I think chat would agree. That looked like I actually made it. So maybe if I do like a lunge strike, it'll work. No. Oh, how is that not it? Oh, Alright, chat, how is that not it? <laughs> what is that invisible wall? That invisible wall is intense. I think we can agree. I even found like a way to tumble up, but then it's just too high up. So sad. Come on. Just looking to see if there's something I could get stuck on. The left side looked the most promising. Almost. See, like, he goes in the air. Oh, I know what I could do to try something. One second. Felt inspired for a second. Let's do the do the lunge strike. Do the lunge. Do the lunge strike. Game, please. Man, when it doesn't cooperate, chat. Come on. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, I did it too soon. I think I might be able to swap out of that, and maybe that works. So I think they have some prevention method that they've thought about a player doing this. Don't keep me waiting. No, I can't quite get there. I'm on the Come on. So that's the only place where it looked like I got height. And that looked promising, but I don't think I can clip out, sadly. Okay, it was worth a shot. I mean, we went at a funny angle, so at least we found we could tumble upwards, but it's not very useful. Um... Oh, I never tried clipping with the statue to go higher. I probably should have tried that. Oh, well. We'll move on. Uh... Can we not? Can't escape, ew. Our healer died, of course. We'll get through this eventually. Oh, didn't level from that, so close. Oh, we're not allowed to normally jump up the middle. Oh, look at the weird physics. Do you see me bouncing backwards when I jump? This is what I'm talking about with the physics in this game. Like, look at that. That's holding forward, by the way. Like, actual madness. You're wondering why I'm complaining about the physics. That's what I'm talking about. I think that was a perfect example of bonking. Yeah, we're just kind of... We graze it while jumping and we go weird directions. You are too late. Now, if you wish to save Fairy and the Queen, you must give me that sword of yours. Mother! Please do not move, Princess Angela. Fiend! How could you? <laughs> Call me what you will. I'll take that sword now. If you move an inch, I cannot guarantee the lives of Fairy or Her Majesty. Oh, so this 
is the sword of mana. Ah! <laughs> doesn't want a nasty soul like yours anywhere near it, loser. The sword of Mano reflects the heart of its wielder, good or wicked. The Dragon Lord's dark power will change the sword into a vessel of evil. We've... we've done it. <laughs> the Sword of Mana belongs to the Dragon Lord. No! We are done here. Now we must use the sword on each mana stone to release the seals on the Benevodons. <laughs> Mother! What have you done to her? You promised! I simply demanded the sword. I never said I would spare any of you in the end. What did you do to my mother? Give her back! Sadly, I have no more time to waste on you, pitiful heroes. But do not fret. Once we free each of the Benevodons, you will all die sooner or later. You may live for now and watch the world perish. Consider it a gesture of appreciation for the sword. <laughs> That loves the heroics of Angela and the ha-has. I am so sorry. You lost the sword because of me. No, fairy. It's totally the Crimson Wizard's fault for manipulating my mother and stealing the sword. Now that it's come to this, how are we going to stop the Benevodons? And now for the game's very long explanation of this. If we play this a third time, chat, can I just skip this cutscene? Like, we know where they're located. Well, we now have free reign, technically. What to do next? I should probably get in one fight here. This should level us. So I definitely have like a million ways to heal in this game. So if the AI is also controlling him briefly, at least they should be able to heal themselves now. Take a good look at the statue, I guess, of the queen. Long live the queen, I guess. Where does this put- I think this puts us near the ice place, right? We might as well do the ice place first, question mark? I think it's 
technically before the other ones. Actually, I changed my mind. Let's let's go the other order. We'll go to the mole bear area first. I guess I should go purchase black market stuff first. Let's go this way and then go back up there. And then we can sleep here, get our MP. And then, as long as we have some of the basic elemental casts, it should be fine. So we still have two stat downs for the last major bosses, so even if we don't get a character with stat down, we should be fine. Cookies. Don't need to worry about those yet. Welcome. Technically, wind magic is stronger at the moment. So, in theory, if I did, if I got to the earth place fit fast enough, I would do more damage, maybe, with wind spells. Too bad it doesn't really matter at all. Elemental up, but we don't need that many of them. We want a lot of light damage up. Good choice. Come again. Good choice. Come again. Come again. Come again. I'll get ten in case I find a use for it. Okay, so we still have a ton of money. Could switch my class stuff up. So we don't have anything to follow up with him about. Good choice. Still have a lot of chocolates. I could get more walnuts. Yeah, let's get a lot of walnuts. That'll make our journey way easier. Come again. Come again. We'll go for like 40 team heals. Come again. That should probably be good enough. <laughs> Come again. The rest of the money will just go towards weapons. Yeah, we'll do ice after Mole Bear, I think. So we as long as we keep strength up and wind. In the earth place, we should be fine. So we'll equip the... Wind Elemental over the Vitality thing. I'll give our allies access to the AoE heal. That should be fine. Oh boy, this area. Remember this area, chat? There should be a... Uh... Should be a cactus near us. It might be on the other side of this rock. I'm on the job. Oh, speaking of which, I'm like that. I kind of remember. Plus side of having played through the game once before.
Hmm. I don't see any kind of crazy rocks I can clip off of out here, sadly. So the enemies here are level 40. So that's a quite a big jump compared to our level. I try to avoid that combat. So we're like maybe one boss fight from hitting 38 if we kill a couple things on the way. the goofy slimes. They're just so happy to be there, and then we just murder them. I definitely want to see what our Class Strike 3s are. Because I definitely feel like some of our characters are on the weaker end with their level 2s, especially compared to the other party. Like, imagine the AoE Dagger Throw, or even, honestly, the Lance Dive compared to some of the other stuff that's, like, really awkward to set up. Never thought there'd be something cool near those weird moors. There's a Benavidon presence nearby. Let's search! Oh. These enemies are weaker than the ones outside? That's interesting. Well, I do have the latest weapon that I could purchase. So maybe with- Oh, you know what? I thought we were 36 already. Disregard. Yeah, we're gonna need two Benavidon fights, I think. Like how high up we could potentially jump from. Wait, what? What? Is there another invisible wall here? What's going on? What is this? What is this chat? Only clipping out of bounds was that easy. Might as well just go see what this is. Not that we need it. At least the spell spamming seems successful. I was wondering where it was at first. It's like, what? Interestingly, I got the treasure visible before I could get to it. Huh. Interesting. I went to class strike. I was too slow. That was a good cross cut. Couldn't go fast enough. Nice triple slash. Yeah, we're like just shy of killing them in melee. Just like a little too weak. Unfortunate. Oh, everybody got petrified. Uh. Ooh, I did. I don't know if I bought medicinal herbs. This might be a problem. I think I got the other type. Just not as useful. Hopefully we have a lot of medicinal herbs, chat. Or else I might be very sad very soon. Alright, I have 26. Never mind, we're good. Yeah, the angle is not quite right. Oh well, we'll still investigate them. But there's the goofy dragon. Heal. Healing what? Watch out. I almost avoided that encounter. Uh, uh, retreat. Low little cactus. Oh, 
Four revives. I didn't buy any of those, but I'm assuming we're at a decent amount. Oh, did I not put Cup of Wishes in here? Oh, is it because I ran out or something? No, I just didn't ass Why did it instantly assign that? That was kind of annoying. Yeah, put Cups of Wishes at the top is probably okay. Yeah, actually, that's probably fine then. So we went from, I think, 15 to 40 across a couple of bosses. It's kind of funny. That is really defensive of us. Get out of my way before I break you. Nothing of interest there. Be careful! This could get up. Uh, uh, retreat! Get out of my way before I break you. Sorry, kid dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Not really sure why I jumped to that one, but sure. I like how she's not curing us, by the way. Yeah, I figured they put in the effort. I might as well just kill them at this point. Although I keep getting poisoned. Okay, so we should be coming up to the boss fight soonish. Probably could get more strength. So that'll help with general boss clear. Since we're not going to be micromanaging her. Oh, there's another one in here. I actually forgot this one was over here. We got kind of lucky here. So now potentially getting triple XP is kind of huge. So no more cactuses. Bit of money. Almost. I was curious if we could go back up the way we just came from. Looks like they thought about the terrain a little bit more. Unless there's like a fake wall or something. Uh. Keep forgetting when I cast a spell with them, it locks me out of other commands. This ought to help. There we go. To me, Wookies. Mm, nothing too crazy. To Watch out. No He's like, run! Quite an escape combat sound. Nice, hit almost all of them. Prevented two transformations. Seriously? We got caught there by the prickle bee. That was kind of annoying. Speaking of annoying. Poison gas in the battle kind of sucks. Looking forward to beating that thing. Do I have immunity to poison gear? Or we do any of that? I think I skipped this last time by just doing immunity to poison. Okay, I got four of them. I think we can agree, Chad. It's it's time it's time to say no to more of these. I think poison's kind of annoying. Uh -oh. 
I went into class strike immediately if I got denied. Very close to leveling. How did she die? What are all of you doing? Like, honest question. Don't mind me, just solo carrying the fight as usual. Ridiculous. That would have been a nice one to get triple XP, but sadly it was not meant to be. Unknown seed, nice. We do need to get those before we hit the next class level. Right, so touching that does hurt you. So unfair. It moves you so much. See, so yeah, I was thinking if we were 36, we would have hit uh, 37, and then maybe the boss would have put us to 38. But we're just like a little shy of that, sadly. Even with the triple XP. Well, triple XP hasn't triggered yet, technically, I guess. But it would have been nice if it did. Um, Anything else I want to do? I think I mostly just want to save Int to boost her to the end. I'm still not sure what I want to do with him at all. If he's going to end up learning any more spirit moves. I don't think Luck and Spirit are going to move up. I'm going to save probably the rest for Strength. I think the game we're, I think the game expects us to have had the class level up already. That's why the damage feels a bit lower compared to the other times that we fought. So just this first boss will be more difficult due to us not being class rank 3. Once we get class rank 3, it's over. It might be worth grinding it, maybe. Just because it would save so much time. All right, so we're going to have you self buff. You're gonna do this, then I'm going to wind up myself. Trying to boost our ally attack a little bit more and see how we do with that. Seriously? Oh, I didn't see what I had to hit there. That sucks. That sucks. I I wasn't sure what to target because I didn't see the purple bar right away. That's kind of my fault. Uh, let's go back to wind on ourselves. I don't use strength up us. I should have gotten more skills as well. So we're gonna have to go back at some point now.
I'm kind of glad we didn't do this one later, honestly. That way we get to see a, a slight difficulty in the game. Got rid of one of its hands. Stop targeting me, please. I got a multi-hit there, that sucks. Seriously? Unfortunately, our healer died, which is most unfortunate. Can you guys, like, please not die for a second? Come, come on, please don't get my character killed. My chat, like, I swear, they're so bad at living, it's, like, unreal how bad they are. I know, chat, they had one job. Oh, I did the- I did the class strike switch there. That was nice. I mean, they died with the tankiest party member. Chad, he had way more HP, way more defense than everybody else. They still got him killed instantly. The not dodging is painful. Yeah, so you can see, that would have put us probably at 38, so it might be worth trying to get at least one character to 38. We're also not sure what class seed we got, so we're gonna check, I guess? I don't want any light seeds, I don't think, except for maybe... No, not even Durin. Durin, I think I want dark. Angela might be fine light, Charlotte might be fine light. These guys should be level 40. So we'll get the sword upgrade for sure. There we go. No, Niccolo, my name is Josephine. Niccolo and I were together, but Niccolo always wants to join the Noble Thieves. He left from Navarro a while ago. I missed him. Since Meow are here, do you need anything? Well, without quality armor, it won't matter how good Meow weapons are. Not really impressed. Chiquita, though we're related, so I can understand Meow confusion. Meow nature has kept folk to live nomadic lives and make ends meet peddling wares. Ooh, we immediately got another sword upgrade. Well, let's buy it. So we got one sword upgrade just to purchase another sword upgrade. Arguably not worth going for the other upgrade earlier. Whatever. Uh, I don't need this many imp rings. See, so yeah, we'll have to go back for strength ups at some point. I thought about controlling Angela for the other fight, but honestly, I'm like, eh. When we go to fight the, the Darkness Benevidon, we're going to be taking control of her for sure. Let's get one more fight so Charlotte levels. Perfect. Get out of here. Now I guess we go back to the ice place. If I need to get more scales, I can, but we can wait a little bit on that. Guess I shouldn't be surprised how strong a 
<laughs> love how I'm just ignoring them. I'm just like, it's just flavor text. It's fun. Yada yada, we somehow beep in Evadons. Oh boy. So let's go ahead and switch this over to fire. So we need to make sure we look in each area to get the seed, and then we might get seeds randomly fighting enemies anyway. It's cold as ever. The faster we defeat the Benevadon, the sooner we can leave. So we know there's one that's like on an upper platform. That would have been so easy. <laughs> Goodbye, Petite Poseidon. Oh! Oh, I screwed our allies on that one. Oh, they didn't get hit. Huh. I was the only one that got hit that entire time. That's awkward. Oh, ice physics? Wait, how does, how does that work with the glitch? Oh, we get a weird momentum. I might as well fight everything that I see because I do need to hit level 38. Oh, I don't have my frosty equipment on. Let's put that on in a second. So on the plus side, there's some purpose to swapping accessories. If we go to the fireplace after this, I don't have to swap accessories. Okay, do as much damage to Swordster as we can. And build meter. On the remaining foes. Not bad. Almost a 300% meter, that seems fair. Oh, the, the physics. Got another seed, excellent. Ooh, barely made that. I think her allies never made the jump, so they weren't even in combat until just then. That's kind of funny. So I have two characters that'll be 38. Gold item seed, not quite the seed I'm looking for. Yeah, 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 I understand. Game, game. Don't, don't put me in a cutscene and move me. No! Oh, come on. What was that? I got double cutscene? Game, please. <laughs> yes. First, we had the tutorial of hitting level 38, and the game is like, hold on, I think you were trying to make a jump. Wow. Yeah, that was that was ridiculous, chat. I had no control. Nice. Had a feeling I'd hit the other one. A little meter back. Well, anyway, I didn't want to come over here first. We actually skipped going over here, by the way. We made a jump I'm not entirely sure you're intended to make. That's why this platform is here. Like, you're clearly meant to go, like, from there to there, for example. But with little jump extensions, we could still slightly sequence break. So we know the little cactus is up here. Question is, can we do anything fun up here? Ooh, that invisible wall is ridiculously high up. Eh, no point in saving. 
Yeah, I'm just looking for like little mini breaks. We, we didn't to. get too many in the gem area, but it's mostly because that was downhill. He's going to bounce. Um, so there's a gold thing down there I could get later. Again, I don't think our allies are in combat. There we go. They can't handle my platforming chat. They're just like, we're just going to teleport to you. We all understand how that works. There's a little cactus. So all of them have been found. I guess I could go back. The gold thing. Whatever, we need to come down here anyway. I think before we fell down on this one, because I didn't understand how to make that jump. I don't have time for this. Stop. More money. Back down here real quick. What's the point of this area? Oh, that's that's a textured wall if I've ever seen one. Wait, what's this? Aw, oh, can't boost self anything here. I think the angles are all wrong, sadly. This would have been an interesting place to clip. Chat like my aggressive escaping from combat. Well, that looked weird. I still don't get why this urn is here when there's a safe statue here. So I'm hoping with extra health and putting them at 500 that maybe they survive? Question mark. Maybe. To meet her. Wow, they're doing like no Bicycle damage to it. Disaster. not attacking why were why were our allies not attacking during that cutscene oops I got tagged once I don't know what they're doing chat uh just do an AOE heal just in case I'm gonna reapply fire up I think they actually canceled it which is kind of annoying
How did they do so little to it? And please. Oh, uh, hello! Attack this, please! Idiots. <laughs> right, chat? That's a cut me a break game moment. Okay, we did, we're doing some pretty good class strike swapping. Can't see what the boss is doing. Thank you, game. It does suck our allies are so bad at attacking this. Like, look how little damage they did. Hello, attack! Please don't make me take damage for this. You guys are actually stupid. Like, how is that? How is that fair? We have the stupidest teammates, I swear. I'm dead. <sighs> wow, that fight would have been over if they just bothered attacking it once thanks idiots now we're in this like extended phase which is awkward yeah i'm pretty sure that would have killed it before so sad Barely see the floor. This is so awkward. It might die to Love Typhoon. There we go. Slapped it in the face with our mage. Yeah, it's just sad that they just don't seem to know how to deal with boss mechanics at all. Just kind of embarrassing. So everybody in theory could benefit from the class seeds now. Dare try to identify them now or wait? We'll go to the fireplace. Only six left. Let's hurry. Just six left. We can do this. I almost went to Astoria. Oops. That's like the only town that I will not be able to get anything from it. Astoria is a little little burned down. Rip Astoria. I mean, I guess I would like a power spike. Let's save before we do this. If it's something I don't like, I might hold on to the seeds. Actually, I should have saved. That was a mistake. Welcome. Alright, so let's see what we get. Curse Bottle Arcana. Let's look up what each of these are, because I don't know what they do. I think Curse is Curse Bottle Necromancer Warlock. It's Warlock. Warlock might be fine.
And what was the other one? Grand Diviner. I'm just double checking real quick which one this actually is. Since I'm not familiar with her class names. Is that the lighter dark version? I think it's the light version. Eh. I don't know if I want that. I might do the curse bottle though. Hmm. I don't know what would be more helpful f for the team. Like maybe Warlock is better. Let's go to the Mana Sanctuary before we do anything else, and then we'll make a decision from there. I'm not gonna save yet. I'm thinking Warlock is probably good. I don't think we could go wrong necessarily with Charlotte. I'm worried we could go wrong with Angela. So like, um, some might be more like MP focused, some might be more damage focused. So like if the if the light sign is just like MP restore, I don't really care about that because we have a million walnuts if we really need it mid combat. I'd rather just have like a big boss move. So if we don't see like a big boss move, we'll move on. on Come on. Sadly, Durin didn't get an upgrade there. Also, it's kind of awkward our melee character did not get anything. Who is switching classes? So we'll see what Charlotte's choices are. Switch your class. Mm hmm. So Necromancer curses enemies. Good at weakening magic. Damage increase when summoning magic. Jump bong, mysteriously enlarged flail. Recover health when class striking might be useful. So necromancer damage is way better. This might be what we're looking for. Let's see what we get. Let's check our passives out before we save. Because if nothing else, this is a big stat increase for our healer to not die. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's hope Jambonk is good. Her healing every time she class strikes synergizes well with it. If she dies, she comes back at one health. So maybe the AI won't die stupidly as often. Okay, so we have defense down all. Ooh, these are just passives. Kremlin de defeated breath. Increases enemy attack and magic defense. Okay. Oh, that's interesting then. Maybe we'll stick with this one. Magic defense down. I think I need this one. So we need both the in and the spirit at some point. Is there any point to the other ones like luck? Not really. I don't really care about attack down from stamina standpoint. Damage el enemy elemental weakness increased by 8% for all allies. Ooh. That could be really good if we stack these. I like the fact that we can def we could debuff them, even if we don't have a great usage for it. So we could build into this in the late game. Do I go for defense down first is the question. Or go for magic up. Ooh, that's a tough call. I guess I go for defense down first. It is faster to get to it. No, let's let's go for this one a minute. Let, let's focus on Angela actually being good. Uh, let's see what the other one is like. Who is switching classes? Oh, you want to wait? We'll do another save here. I'm mostly okay with this. Eek chat. Who is switching classes? Try to switch 
switch your class. I guess I could always just switch her class and then switch it again later. Yeah, see, I think I want Archmage. It's hard to tell by looking at this, though. So for now, we'll switch. Still freezes in her homeland, pretty much. Who is switching classes? Try to switch your class. You're already the strongest class you can be. Focus on what. Who is? I just want to see one thing before we hard commit. Try to switch your class. Looks like you don't have the class item that you need to reset your class. You need an item to reset your class? Okay, well, let's see if this is even worth taking. I don't really want explode magic. Damage to non-boss... Oh, this is like a... Hmm... I don't think I want this one. No... I mean, Limit Break 2 is interesting, but this this one feels like it's geared for other enemies. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset it. Let's not choose this class. I feel like this one is like the crowd clear. Like, this is what you do to kind of fight normal enemies. I, I want a boss focus build. Yeah, I want to reset it. We'll, we'll keep the Warlock, because I think the Warlock gives me everything I want, which is like passive stat downs. I think is exactly what I want for that kind of character. Uh... Give her better healing magic for now. Maybe HP boost. Yeah, the other one seemed like it wanted to on. eventually scale up a bit harder. That is such a long animation. That's actually really useful. You want really long animations because that gives me more time to attack with the other characters. So liking her animations, she doesn't have a lot of AoE, so we still don't have like a really good class strike for multiple characters, sadly. But I'll take that for a boss lockdown. Got some more incense. Okay, so I could start doing cookie boosts again. So let's go to the fireplace? I guess. Ones we definitely have the elemental weakness to. Try to fish out a better one. Before we do the harder bosses. But anyway. At least our healer might survive, question mark, with 60 health and the class upgrade. Yeah, she's has almost as much HP as Durin now, which is hilarious. Let's put on the Water Claw. Hmm. 
Do we have three stat downs? I think we'll equip that when we're in the final bosses after the Benevidons. I don't think I need any of these other things. Let's not worry about them. Uh, we already have Cookie equipped. I guess I can do the money up? Let's build our meter, because this area is ridiculous. This is like the best room in the game. Look at this chat. There's a heal statue, merchants, and a way to reset the room quickly. So unfair. So give our allies a little class strike bonus. So let's start with cookie usage number one. Oh, that reminds me. Let me get a uh, anti-burning on. Oh, that's right. Looks like we can go this way now. I feel the presence of a Benevidon nearby. Hurry! On the plus side, I do have frost spike. So if I do want to hit the weakness of this one, I actually have it. This is so dead. GG, Captain Duck. The more seeds we find, then we can increase the odds of getting more seeds. So this is probably fun. Poor Duck. Did our allies just fall off? <laughs> Didn't even try to jump. They were like, yeah, we're going to the pit. Um, can I just go this way? I think I can. Rather than try to go that way. They were like, bye. Well, I see a little cactus. There's only one here. They made zero attempt to even make that convincing. Oh, I don't have the three times boost yet. My bad, I misread. So yeah, we need to get that soonish. Still, double XP could be useful. I don't have time for this. Oh, I thought that was the last fight. Tagged right at the end. That's so sad. Got so much more XP. Nice level up. I was curious if I could have skipped it. Actually, speaking of which, oh, it's like not high enough. Just not high enough. Nope. I was looking to see if there's like some weird wall I could clip on. That would have saved me some platforming time. This area sucks. Actually. I like how little the damage the fire does. It's kind of funny to me. I got the glass seed, which we'll hold off on identifying for now. If we do identify it, we just reload, honestly. Yeah, we're gonna stop that one attack from him. Nice. Voice acting though. That was nothing. What a 
voice. Charl actually just walloped him to death. That was something. I mean, her damage is not bad now that she got a little bit of strength, like, honestly. Over chat. Stomp. She's going in melee style. Look at her go. Boing. Yeah, chat loves the over. It's over. Is there a point to this? Oh, treasure chest. On the plus side, the class level up means my healing amount also increased automatically. Nice. Only one training point on that level up? That kind of sucks. I don't really care about halving damage, to be honest with you. It's fine. I'd rather have immunity to burn. <laughs> I just I just hear them walking into the pillars behind me. Owie! Hey, <laughs> They're so stupid, I swear, Jack. Yeah, I think triple slashing to keep the sword star out of the combat is kind of imperative. How did she die again? Game, please. She owied out of existence. Well, time to rebuild meter, I guess. That was rude and very quick. I tumbled, but too early. Okay. So as long as I don't take more than three minutes on this boss battle, I don't need to reset anything. XP-wise, I think we're doing okay. Gonna do that to dodge an attack real quick, don't mind me. Come on. Is this it? Game, please. 
Please don't kill my characters at full health. Why don't you magic up her? How is she getting one shot? What is going on? Does she just not survive this at all? That's kind of irritating. Well, so much for keeping her buffed, because she can't live long enough to do anything with this. We heal our allies. Uh, Alright, you're not doing anything anyway. You might as well as buff me, to be honest. So I'm trying really desperately to boost their damage. We'll see what happens. Uh... Come on. Also, that glitch. Man. I think they're doing damage as though I've class upgraded, which is kind of annoying. They're just literally one-shotting my allies. There's nothing I can do about this. Charlotte, please don't kill Charlotte, game. So this is a problem because I can't heal through this. And I don't feel like I'm that underleveled. I'm level 40. Stop dying, please. Holy. Why even bother buffing our allies, honestly? I'm not going to bother for the rest of the game. How have they not hit the other one at all? Do you see what I mean, chat? Like, it's ridiculous. I, I'm not going to be able to break this fast enough at some point. Did you buff my magic or my damage here? I think that's as good a damage as I'm going to get. Why was our ally over there? <sighs> I think our buff's actually gonna wear off. That's so sad. And it's purely because our allies are just dying left and right. That sucks. Um... Maybe you heal us real quick. Why are our allies not attacking? Do, do they need like a written instruction on how to do damage? What's going on? Why did they just stand there and wait for that to finish? Stupid. Well, so much for the cookie. I wouldn't have thought it was going to take this long, but if they keep killing our allies like this, that is a big waste of time, sadly. I might not revive her. If Angela dies again, I don't think I'm going to revive her. She doesn't do anything in combat anyway. I mostly just need somebody to keep applying buffs to me. That's about it. 
And I'd rather it be Charlotte at this point. Hello? Reviver? They kind of injured this one, I guess. Look at that chain of class strikes, chat. I'm putting in the work. Do we agree? Like, that is that is the work. I chained all of them. One combo. Should be over. There we go. Don't forget to drink your Alphatine, maybe. Holy. The chaining of the skills was real. Feels kind of unfair for the damage to be that high. They're just doing like 660. So maybe I will have to have Angela wear the elemental resistant ring or else she just can't live without the class upgrade. Just, as you imagine, would be kind of a problem. Okay, so we lost a cookie, but we still have two more. I would really ideally like to be able to take this upgrade, though. So we're gonna save without I. So if we find it and identify it, I'm just gonna hold on to it. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I could upgrade her just so she survives. Lucent Beam is really strong, at least. I don't know. I, I kind of want to see what the other class ability does before committing. Missed the treasure chest over here, apparently. Hey, Elixir's fun. So, like, I don't mind healing through it, but if they just get one shot, there's not much I can really do about that. So no matter what, we're going to rest. That's a big level jump. Rinse tag. And that is what exactly? Is that the one I'm looking for? Let me look that up real quick. It is light dark. I think that is the one I'm looking for. Okay, we'll keep this. I think Chad would agree upgrading Durin would be kind of huge. I think Angela is going to get the same treatment as Reese did, where her good ability doesn't show up until like the end of the game and that it's useless. Yeah, I believe I want Liege. I don't want, I think it's called Paladin. I, I don't really need like a full defense tank build. I would rather get a little bit of damage with Liege, maybe. But we'll read what the abilities do. I'm on the Come on. I doubt I'll get anything too crazy on either ability, to be honest. Because the dark class is definitely meant to be DPS. But it would be nice if you got something useful. Yeah. I don't know if we ever found an item to reset class before. Or like where that's even farmed.
I mean, it's interesting that there is an ability to reset it, but it really sucks that you can't just do it. Switching classes. Try to switch your class. Switch your class, chat. You want to learn about fringing? Yeah, I don't think I went Paladin. Balanced fighting class with good offense and defense leash can use scaling party to that was increased party survivability. Both of them sound very tanky. Increased light elemental damage. That's not a great passive. 20% chance of increasing healing and magic by 100%. Flint slash holy light. Sounds like a cool ability. Damage slash the magic be bound enemy. This does have better attack power. Guess we'll try this. Yeah, the other one I think is just meant to survive bosses, which I don't think we have a problem with with this character. So he got in a huge HP boost. So now I think we could not get one shot. Okay, let's see what his abilities are. Yeah, sad sadly, Angela without the class, up class upgrade is just going to get one shot out of existence for sure. At least we have only one character that might get one shot. Attack boost all. Yeah, there we go. Healing light plus. Twinkle rain. So that gives some cure abilities. Magic boost all. So that would potentially be useful for us. To boost our ally damage. Charge attack damage increased by 75%. What? Oh, that sounds ludicrously stupid. Let's unlock that. Like, okay. I'm assuming that means when I do, uh... Or is there a difference between power attack and the other thing? What was her thing that had it? Let me check real quick. Oh, I might be thinking of power attack. Charge attack is not that interesting, actually. Disregard. But I'll take the attack boost. This is free damage. Um. So the question is, what do I want to give him? Probably have him go towards magic boost. I don't think I super care about him being a healer. I could give attack decrease on luck if I really need to. If we didn't have a debuffer. Strength is good just because then we could do some damage. Do I cap out strength plus 10 for more damage before going for this? Probably. Let, let's just cap strength first. I think that's the only thing I honestly care about. But giving free attack bo bonuses to people might be useful. Because I imagine that doesn't impact their class strike damage. Uh... I'm gonna increase my power attack damage slightly. Let's see how this goes. Let's get in a quick fight. Come on. He's at 908 health, which is very silly. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> right, chat, I'm sorry, what was that damage? I apparently have a delete button now. See what his other ability is. It's another single target ability. Which lasts a very long time. But then it AoEs at the end? Oh, that solves all of his problems. Oh, that is a, that is a good thing for him. Okay, so very long cinematic. So useful for class swapping. I have a level two that also does that. But then it just, just AoE. Especially if you have a delete button, it's like your end button. Maybe. I actually don't have an end key. I think I talked about this before. It's like, it. if I hit like a function, it'll work like that. It's all the way above my mouse pad. Let's see. Where do we want to go next? 
Which one of these boss fights was not horrendous garbage? Is the question I'm asking myself. So we should be at 39, right, Cactuses? Yeah, I think we're on track then. Ooh, do I try to get the wood boss out of the way early? Because there are more things there. Or do I save that for later? Ooh. I don't want to do the wind fight, but what else is left? Tower, wind fight. Ugh. Okay, let okay, let's do the wind fight now. The plant fight I think I could get through. The moon tower was fine probably to do last. I don't think I want this area to get harder. I forget where the actual goal is here. Interesting. Okay, so it is directing me up there. Yeah, if we get something that boosts our power attack with it, I think Charlotte does. So if she, if we get her with more strength, does she get another one? No. Maybe her next class upgrade does. Because that'd be useful to give to uh, Durin. I do feel like Durin does more damage in this game overall. Look at that cinematic. That did insane damage. That enemy actually just got deleted. 4k from the non-melee character is very silly. <laughs> That's the spirit! Why do you say he's live like that? Oh, right. There's the whole me not going over to that side of the dungeon. Oh, well. I guess we never will. Right, chat? Oh, well. So we're two levels under level, but we have two characters with the class upgrade. Honestly, though, if we really get... If we do not immediately get this upgrade when we go to the next area, I think I will probably just take Angela's Light's class. Because I feel like Reese being really weak made her literally useless for most of the game. There's not much of the game left at this point. Gotta do something about this wind statue. No, I don't. Thing, we've worked with it before. I never paid attention when I had to learn things before, but... This puzzle stuff is fun, huh? Don't you lie to me, game. Speaking of which, let's use the cookie again. Goodbye, random enemy. Beating them all on my own? Cinematic is so long and then they just die. Oh, they were too far away for it to work. Also, how did Angela die? In please. Rip Angela. 
She got Yamshed. She has so little health compared to us. Almost half the protagonist. Holy. I mean, I'm I'm trying not to skip fights here. His XP is at least pretty quick. But yeah, I think she's just kind of done. We'll take this. Vanguard's ring. Is that resistance to wind? She's gonna need it. Yeah, let's give that to her so she has a small chance of living. Let's fix her items. So that way we have Earth. We only have 12 Drake scales left. Yeah, we need to go back and get more after this. So this one, we just go straight into the boss rematch. There's no new little cactuses. Hmm. Okay, if I can't beat the boss in eight minutes, I'm just going to be really sad. Just declaring it. Dunka Dunka, pretty much. This is gonna be a kind of rough fight, I'm not gonna lie. But hopefully the half wind damage will help her survive, and Charlotte has boosted HP. So I'm hoping between these two things we'll be okay. Did so much damage. Did you see that? Holy. Deleted that enemy. Big damage. Oops, I didn't realize it was attacking. Would have dodged otherwise. This fight is actually going pretty smooth now that I can chain the abilities pretty rapidly. Oh, I missed it by like one swing. Come on, let me jump. Oh, come on, I was stunned it. Really? Ugh, oh, annoying. Man, we were literally one attack from killing it there. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, can you please stop just instantly attacking? I can barely read your attack indicators while on this thing. I'm gonna slow it down a little. Well, 
This should kill. There we go. Death by Love Typhoon. We almost killed it before it got to the other phase. I missed it by literally one swing, which was so sad. And then it did that attack, which was just kind of nonsense. Well, we kept the curious cookie, I guess. So the answer is no. That, that still one shot everybody in our party, by the way. It's PS, by the way. They all died. Um, Strength up for sure. Then I guess I start going for... Where was? Magic boost up? Why not? So his damage is maxed. Her damage. She could get defense down. Or I could go for magic down. Yeah, let's get one of these. So if we know they have the weakness, we can make them weaker. Which honestly, we might remove the HP boost just for that. Because that means at least if we have the element matching the enemy's weakness, we just get bonus damage. So this is potentially a big damage boost for Durin, if nothing else. Come on. We'll rebuild some meter right here. Or not. Will you stop that? Oh, that's right. They don't stun. That's annoying, actually. Can knock them down, though. They keep interrupting my new class strike ability, so maybe it's just too slow. So maybe maybe the new one isn't the best. Unless I could set up for this. The slam does good damage, but the slash is more useful. Yeah, that might still be more useful. Okay, so let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, hold on. There was a little cactus in Wendell. Where was Wendell? There it is. I remember this because we came back here and we found this one randomly. If this is the only thing preventing us from getting triple XP, it just makes sense to grab it. Like... Is it in the corner over here? Hmm. Yeah, see how we have a little cactus that we don't quite have? Oh, there it is. So triple XP could be huge. So I don't think we have wood and moon balls so i don't think we have elemental weakness in this upcoming fight which kind of sucks yeah we have light and dark which is fine you know that'll help for later uh let's get out of here I guess I'll do the wood fight first, because I thought that fight was harder, rather than delay it further. So we have presumably a light place, so we'll do woods, tower, light dungeon. Should probably be fun. Yeah, as I said before, if we get another scenario where we just can't get her ability, I might just pick the light path. Lucent Beam Plus would probably still be really powerful. Sea of trees deep in Lamp Bloom Woods. 
If only it wasn't so dark here. If only, Chan. So you have two little cactus to look for. Okay. Uh, two D time. Let's go ahead and get immunity to poison. I can eventually get him a new shield if I want to, but honestly, his survivability is not an issue. He's got enough roll HP, it doesn't matter. Cups of wishes, yeah, I need those after our allies are doing things. I'm too scared to clip out of bounds here. I, d I don't think I want to see what happens. Even go for it. Mystery seed. There we go, not too bad. Yeah, she's just getting one shot. Chad, I might need to just force her to level up. If she can't survive a single hit at this point, she's not going to be able to do anything in boss battles. And she is kind of one of our DPS. Alright. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go take the class upgrade, even though I'm not happy about it. Because, like, her dying, like, every five seconds is just not tenable. I'm not going to be able to do anything if she keeps doing that. Normal mode, I can get away with that. Hard mode, she's li she is literally dead every single fight. Between the not enough defense and then the 100 health, it's, it's causing her to die instantly. I could probably work around Lucent Beam still fun. Oh, I didn't realize it ticked down the timer when you're in the overworld. That kind of sucks. I think it should have paused in the overworld, to be honest with you. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to do something to glitch it then in a moment. Oh, I could identify what the other seed is briefly. This will be her only chance to get the other one. Blame, blame the game design for making it random, chat. I don't feel like trying to do hard mode without a class. We got almost everything we wanted except for that one, sadly. these enemies so she should see receive like a huge boost in damage as soon as we do this sorry Angela I don't think I can wait like three more dungeons at least 25% magic damage is a pretty good passive I think I'm gonna go for this Her getting gradual MP restore is not bad. She technically gets higher magic and melee, which is funny. Yeah, sorry, Angela. I, I don't think I can avoid this. I really don't feel like burning all my money on armor just for them to die anyway to some elemental attack. Okay, so I'm hoping what we can do is basically just max her in here. So she gets all of the important abilities. Yeah, Limit Break here is pretty strong. Is there anything else she needs? Probably Lucent Beam Plus.
So let's make sure she gets Lucent Beam Plus, because I think that's one of her best abilities. Everything else just goes into Intelligence. Ooh, that is actually perfect. So she AoEs every ability that she has already. She takes less magic damage. So she can potentially use Doppelganger to get around weaknesses. But I doubt I'll be able to use it that often. So what I want to make sure that we have is... Limit Break. Limit Break? So she's doing 30% more damage chat now. I think we can agree. That's a pretty big boost for us. Elemental combo could stack with everything else here. Reduce MP cost, reduce MP cost. I don't think I need victory MP boost anymore because we get MP whenever we do stuff. I guess I could give her magic armor for survival. Maybe that's useful. Here we go. I think this should be fun. So she'll randomly take no damage. She's doing literally 30% more on top of better stats. Let's see if this is good enough. Her having AoE clear might help us, maybe, more than bosses. I mean, if Durin's already good at bosses and Charlotte's good at bosses, maybe we don't care. So we'll maybe purchase one armor upgrade next time we're at a merchant. Just because I feel like we're pretty close to getting like a... There's new items you can get. So I'm going to wait until that. We'll do that there. At least I'm assuming there's nothing new to get. Well, I have a wide variety of weapons from you to peruse. That's good. A perfect choice. I'll make use of this. So that's big damage increase. We use our remaining money to get an armor for our other characters. Maybe a shield for the protagonist. Beard and Peta in the Jungle of Visions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they still tell us about it, even though we can't do anything there, which is ridiculous. Oh. I still can't purchase shields? Where where do I get new shields at? That's stupid. Um... They should do well. So we're gonna hope these kind of get us through. Huh, that's weird that the armor shop doesn't let me get new armor. Okay, let's make Angela as tanky as possible. The other characters, I'm fine. As is. Alright, so we're out of money, but we can get some kills and hopefully get uh, enough for some scales, because we did burn through a lot of them. Okay, back through here. Oh, she's got a nice AoE one. Okay. It's not good for bosses, but that's okay. Sometimes we just need AoE. This one to be is hilarious. Look how long that is. So that's doppelganger. Interesting. Uh, wow. Doppelganger is just kind of going in. I like the upgraded Lucent Beam. That makes me a little happy. I mean, that looks kind of insane. I think Jack can agree. That is just silly damage. 
Hmm. Guess we go in for another fight. Yeah, so right now, her kind of dominating these fights is probably better for her playstyle. I mean, just look at this. This is pretty dumb. Oh, she doppelgangered randomly. There's Little Cactus. So yeah, she kind of has AoE focus. We have boss focus. There's a higher chance of good yields from seeds. Oops, too late for that. So yeah, I think this is fine. If nothing else, it might hit bosses multiple times. Like, even though it says its power is limited, the fact that it's now hitting potentially more than once might mean that that's our secret boss spell. And it just does way more damage than anything else. Um... Let's put in a... Another Lucre thing. More chocolate. More money. We do need money. So yeah, she's not going to be like our end-all be-all boss character, but on enemies are weak to light. I wish I could tell her to not use Holy Bolt, because Lucid Beam is just ridiculous. She leveled. Nice. Mom, oh. How am I not in combat? Get. What? What? Why can't I not spell cast? What was going on there? Why can't I spell cast? That was weird. Yeah, that just seems to shut down encounters really fast. She does have a boss spell with Doppelganger, but... Honestly... So she's gaining 20 MP per fight. So she kind of just keeps going through and killing everything, I guess. How many are we up to? 41? Okay. Why did you eat my input? This happened last time. I remember that happening last time. Stupid tumble when you want to pick up items. Yeah, I know there's a little cactus, I think, around here somewhere. There it is. We're getting there, chat. See, I think we'll do at least two more dungeons, and then we'll call it. I wonder why I can never seem to make her cast spells immediately, even though the combat started. Also, this seems to have, like, no spell animation. Yeah, like, this literally seems like constant damage. This is very cheesy. Oh, she didn't die. Goodbye. Not bad. 
We might need to use the XP extender. So she can get more... I don't think I care about spirit at all. Int's already maxed. Is there anything else she would really benefit from? I find it funny that I never bothered unlocking other spells. Like, they just don't seem better than the light spell. Light spell just seems so strong. So I think she's kind of done. I don't really want to accidentally learn new spells. Unless I'm going to, like, strength up her for some reason. Not really. I mean, I guess I could just literally give her strength just so she does more melee damage, I guess. But in that case, maybe it's better just to give her stamina. So I don't think the AI will bother with that. I don't know. I'll think about it. What about you, Charlotte? What are you trying to unlock? If you saw enemy magic defense by 7%, sure. That seems good now that we have the other ability. Um, I'll get rid of close call since I don't super care about healing. A million ways to heal. Let's go for magic defense down and increase damage with that. See how it goes. Prefer to get into at least one more combat before we get further. So I don't think three minutes is long enough to, uh, benefit from this. So let's reset. Do like two fights and then go through the other area. Oh, unless we had to climb. Oh, this might be the climbing section actually. Yeah, never mind. We still have another place to go through. That's fine then. Yeah, three three minutes is not good enough for the boss as we've seen. I'm surprised I did not tumble off there. Oh, that is such a weird perspective. So if we go up here, we go straight to the boss. I don't really want that. I mean, that does so much damage. It does as much as our full combo. Oh, wow. The enemy is gone. Nice. Last minute level up. Could be important. Another rich incense. Nice. Let's get into another fight here. We do need money. Why is she not able to cast spell? Like, honest question, why? I'm in combat. Why can't I cast a spell? Oh, is she casting double? Oh, she's casting doppelganger. Okay. I'm just like, what is she doing? That's fine, I guess. That was a little unnecessary to triple slash that, but whatever. At least the AI is constantly gaining MP, I guess. I guess that's useful. It's kind of sad that one of our only AoEs is the level 1 on this character, unless we want a really tight AoE with the other. I cannot see anything with that doppelganger spam, I'm not gonna lie. Damn, these enemies are tanky. Bonk. Get out of here. So yeah, pumping up her magic damage could be huge. And obviously if they were weak to light, that would just be a game over. 
So let's use this. So yeah, effectively she has infinite MP just because she might use like 30 in combat, but then gets like 20 something back. So it just takes her forever to drain out. Use one of these. So potentially we can rack up a ton of damage with Lucent Beam on this boss. Especially if I boost her magic damage further, which is already boosted. She's got base intelligence that's pretty high. Not like the AI knows how to fight this thing anyway. She legit died in one hit. Game, please. <laughs> she even had magic defense up. I don't know what to say to that. That's a choice, I guess. Please don't die. Please stop dying. Well, apparently the class upgrade still did not help with this at all. Holy, this fight is miserable. For heal, have you attack up me? Spam light spells. Can you please dodge one ability without me manually intervening? Please. There we go. She did it. I mean, it's doing some decent boss damage. I did not mean to press that button. That really sucks. That's meant to be the uh, other one. All right, we need to build more meter. I think the problem is that nobody's attacking other than me, so we haven't been building any meter. Kind of blows. And chat saw that I even went out of my way to, like, buff our allies' defense, so I don't want to hear anything about the characters being too squishy. But, like, what the heck is this? The only person that didn't upgrade is Durin, and Durin's the only character that hasn't died. What am I targeting? Oh. Didn't realize he was dead already. Oh, she fell asleep. Do you cure this? Let's get another walnut on you. I almost thought she wasn't going to kill me in time. Yeah, the magic up does not last long enough, sadly. I tried swapping. But at least we could do some damage here.
Can you please use some light spells or something? Heal the team, please. Ah, uh, why did it sub me into her? I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> Controller, please. Man, I didn't even get a knockdown phase. That kind of sucks. And dead from full. There we go. What the heck is this? No. Ooh, okay, that was an attack that felt very fair. I like how it heat seeked me, even though I moved out of the way. That was cute. Anyway, I don't know what the heck that was, other than rude. I basically just need to land like one or two strikes and this is over. There we go. <laughs> Does it look scary to me? Dies, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that thing's damage is just kind of busted. I don't know why it can just do like several thousand damage instantly. But anyway, still getting bonus XP this whole time. So I bought armor. We might go back for a scale at some point. I don't need it right now. We, we'll probably get it on the next one. Imagine we have enough scales, right? I'm not at like four or something. I got eight. I only really realistically need two or three per fight, so I should be fine here. Uh, what do I need here? Light, absorb MP. Use some enemies, magic defense, maybe? I wish I had Charlotte's other ability to lower defense. So these others don't really matter. Silence could be useful. Actually, I want to save silence for the triple head statue fight. For this one, I think I'm okay with just regular Batmoai. So you're done as a character. I don't need to do anything else unless I'm raising strength. Spirit, I don't really care about. Stamina, I just... I just don't want to teach you another spell. I feel like that's going to mess up our rotation. So I don't think I can really go into her trees, which is awkward. Um, Teaching him in up. Could give him AoE heal, but I don't think it really matters. I don't want him to be the healer. Let's slowly get more in, I guess. For magic boost all, eventually. Because I don't think I need any of his other abilities. So 27 there. Spirit... So far away from this one. Might not be worth waiting for at this point. Let's just finish off with defense down, I think. Because her melee is actually okay. Not like phenomenal, but we'll deal with it. Uh. 
get out of here. Yeah, we'll do the light dungeon last, because I don't think that boss was hard. I think that boss was difficult only because our allies just don't understand how to deal with it, so they just die really quickly. Yeah, the darkness one is always last, so we have some time before that. We gotta save up money for the last big purchase. Well, without quality armor, it won't matter how good our weapons are. So again, like Angela was wearing the best possible armor, and she still got one shot. To give you an idea of like how much I don't care about armor I have anymore. A wide variety of You're welcome. So even with negating damage randomly and everything else, still died instantly. That feels fair. Oh, you know what I could do? Do another money up here for the moment. One of those Benevodons is in this tower. Monsters tend to come out more at night. Be careful. Yeah, kind of like her stun lock the enemies here. It's just a shame we don't have uh, all the abilities we might need for later. leveled up. So yeah, probably more for the bonus dungeon she'll have the ability of magic down. Which we don't necessarily need as I said before, because by the time we unlock it, we'll be at the final bosses anyway. Yeah, Angela spamming spells here is actually kind of nice. I'm glad we did not wait. Ooh, triple XP, that's huge. And I guess the more strength he has, the better the dash attack is. Oh, that enemy is crazy dead. Strength up. I mean, I guess I can always just do two points in strength just because it doesn't really hurt. Um, keep leveling him towards this other ability. It does technically make some of his abilities better. So we're getting closer to defense down all, which will be nice. Is Durin with like a small damage boost? So Charlotte, Kevin, Durin would be kind of a nasty combo with that. <laughs> wow, she just spell cast in his face. That was so rude. How many more are there? Just one. Just one. Okay. So I think it's like right at the top of the tower. But we want to get into more fights. Oh, this enemy is so dead, chat. GG to Succubus. Here it comes, chat. The dunk. It's like a close range AoE. So at least we have something that might hit a group. Another triple XP. Dolan's ring. Um. 
Or we'll try to half her damage. Really good damage. So yeah, she's killing very quickly. It's good. Make that jump very easily. Are you a mimic? You are. Here we go, chat. They're getting jump bonked. Goodbye. <laughs> One without taking damage. Hmm, I wonder how I did that, chat. Thank you, Parameter, for the good luck. Please get some rest. That kind of works. I guess I could teach Charlotte more summoning magic, but honestly, potentially just having defense down might be more useful for us. Doppelganger is such a ridiculously flashy spell. Okay, so we have a couple cookies left. Got the incense. We're not going to use it until we're right before combat. So we made her damage go up slightly. I don't need anything else in spirit, so she's good there. Uh, let's just keep keep using this one. I don't have anything else really worth going for, I don't think, unless I want to learn AoE heal, which I don't. Got a little bonus HP from stamina, which is okay. Anything else I need to equip on her? Really? The 5% magic damage is not really fantastic. We'll need to improve it with something else later. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> right, chat, that was a lot of damage. So again, I think her bunk damage is being improved due to defense down. The AoE spam is just kind of absurd. So it's kind of leaving her as an AI partner. I think she's definitely a lot stronger. Just because she's able to hit everybody at once. Compared to before. And you can see that she's basically a permanent max MP due to leveling and the, her class ability. It's kind of interesting. Don't keep me waiting. I know what to do. I like that that hits behind her. Goodbye. So because of the fact that we get so much XP on kill, just kind of GG. something useful here potentially he's one level away from getting a chat defense downing at enemy sounds kind of nice so even if i don't have any like passive abilities i could do that to increase my damage we got enough there are you seriously not going to goodbye succubus Oh, summon the Rhino. This poor thing is just gonna get abused. Up oh, 
the stairs we go. Wow, that evil gate spam. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to see. That just shuts down ally enemy encounters, excuse me, instantly. So it feels like she's actually useful in normal combat, which is nice. There we go, I was looking for you. Oh, I just remember, there's one more little cactus thing I can get. It's so close to letting me do something. Oh, hello. Hey, yeah, there we go. Look, mini shortcut, chat. Look at that. Nice, nice little happy mini shortcut. That felt nice. Let's keep our meter for the boss. Five minutes of the clock should be enough to beat the boss. Especially since we're pretty well leveled now. Thanks to triple XP. If triple XP wasn't there, I would not be anywhere close to 48 for sure. Mystery C, don't need those anymore. She's using doppelganger or something right now? Oh no, she's just meleeing like an idiot. Okay, I got ya. I think I'm good there. Most of our allies have good meter. But a thousand HP on Durin, so he's basically never going to die. Um I don't really need her to learn anything else. I could try to get more spirit in case she gets a spirit ability later, but if we are gonna play the post game, it just makes more sense to hold on to the end. Because there's nothing in here I really care about, ability wise. Uh. Hmm. Let's decrease their magic defenses now. That should be fine. Since we can't hit their weakness, sadly. Also, I just want to check one more thing for our other character. For you. So you could do recovery or one of these other ones. Nah, that's okay. Um, I can't hit its weakness, so let's just get extra health here. If that works for now. Yeah, six minutes to beat this should be fine. As long as we're not in like one shot central. Curses, chat. Please don't use evil magic on it. She left Typhoon them. That's that's messed up. That's actually messed up.
I'm gonna lure it away from our allies because I think that just makes sense to do. I think Chad would agree. Honestly, this boss is just kind of melting. There we go, big damage. All oh, the shout. Next knockdown, I think it's just dead. Up me. Oh, I didn't swap in time. That's unfortunate. We could do a little damage here. Oh, it's doing another one. There we go, we're gonna jam bonk up chat. This is for you. <laughs> Goodbye, demon goat. Bonk. The class strike combo is too powerful. Yeah, that boss was probably the easiest of the bosses we could have fought. Honestly, fire boss, ice boss were harder. He didn't, he did damage, but he didn't have like repeated instances of damage like the plant boss or potentially the ice boss with the annoying pillar. Just definitely a step down difficulty wise compared to everything else. Um, defense down for sure. And I guess we'll start leveling spirit so that you can learn Feated Breath eventually. Or having more MP is probably fun. Let's see, you're in strength up mode. Let's get you with more in. Eventually, it'd be nice if I got magic boost, but I don't think that's going to happen before the post game. Get rid of this. Go back to weak point down. Again, I have so many chances of surviving things, but. Yeah, that's probably fine. Yeah, the MP cost reducer is just kind of insane on her. I'm barely spending anything. Don't keep me Come on. So let's do the final dungeon. We'll do the, the bonus dark dungeon later. Build some meter. Welcome. Without quality armor, it won't matter how good your weapons are. Just, I just don't have a reason to get armor on this character. It's not needed. So I'm down to five scales and 15 chips, which I think is completely fine. Honestly, I'm not that worried. So I think the other one's the light, so I think I need to get dark on my attack. Also, I forgot to even use Batmo. Man, we were destroying the boss so hard, I didn't even think about it. It wasn't needed. Let's do this. So Demon Claw plus Batmo equals super dead boss. Wait. Why can't I fall flaming? Uh, okay. Let's do another... Oh, I ran out of serums. That's interesting. Or not serums. I ran out of boosts. Hmm. Do I really... Do I go back to try to get an incense? Maybe. Might be worth it. Yeah, let's let's see if we can get another incense. Otherwise, we'll hold one XP cookie for later. I don't mind curious cooking, but I don't want to do the other one without another money.
<laughs> I love him just ignoring them. I'm like, bye. So we did miss a chest over here last time. Anything fun in here? Oh, I could probably get rid of... Candy for Honey Elixir. Not that we're at the end of the game. It's probably safe to do now. I don't have that many battles left. We have like, what, like three or four special bosses? Including the final boss after this? I got a new weapon armor. Weapon armors? Okay. Well, good thing we did not purchase anything, right, chat? That is a massive attack increase. Hello. Oh, look at that, chat. Well, he's officially unkillable. Where's our shield at, by the way? Like, come on, game. They're really not other shields. She can use the juggernaut, chat. I mean, that's... That's a lot of damage. Her magic attack is almost on par with uh, Angela's now, which is kind of funny. Yeah, that was a good find. That was a good call to go back. I got rewarded on that instantly. So two characters with really powerful boss skills just got stronger. Shaw with too strong, yeah, for sure. Uh, where was Cascade Cavern relative to this? I want to make sure we pick that up before we go too far. Uh, there's Wendell. Can I do it from Wendell? Does it make more sense to come from over here? No, I think I need this. I need to go from a story, I think. If you remember, there's a cactus that shows up later. We have to go back for it. I just want to make sure we grab it now. So sadly, we didn't get another booster. I don't mind burning the cookie, but we're going to hold on to the mythic cookie for later. Eek cha. Oh no, they didn't level up chat. Oh no. Rip those enemies. She doppelganged them? That's messed up. They're literally just one slashes. Yeah, that, that felt really unnecessary. Although it's kind of weird to have a character where like you potentially stack elemental damage and then... They could just arbitrarily do super damage. Is something that doesn't trigger it. Feels like a thematic fail. There's the little cactus. Yeah, since the enemies didn't level, this should be pretty fast. <laughs> the shack can see. I'm just, I'm like, we're out of there. So we're one away. I think there were two in the ruins, so we should get the better yields. Technically, I could have held on to the seeds for a little longer, but I think chat would agree. I got a major weapon upgrade on two characters. I think that's kind of worth it for the upcoming fight. Let's go to the next area, and then I'll use the XP up. And if we happen to drop the money thing, I don't think it matters, to be honest. We, we already got a fantastic random item, so don't think it matters. 
Uh, apparently the load screen causes you to lose out, which is interesting. Wait, where's the cookie? Did I unequip it? I'm like looking through, I'm like, it has to be here somewhere, right? Question mark? Yeah, put a whale, not that useful. Well, like, because we're just getting one shot most of the time, so healing doesn't really matter. Even with the armor that we picked up. So sadly, Angela is the protagonist, allegedly, but we're not using her as the protagonist at all. She's got the sort of mana that she totally earned and is worthy of. Oh, when I'm reading that, it doesn't pause the timer either. I don't know what that word is supposed to be, by the way, chat. It's been bothering me since I've been looking at it. Like, it doesn't say land, it's just like, I, and I'm like, what, what does that mean? like these but never dawn of light is nearby I can tell come on oh, there's a way to clip out so good that enemy real quick and the triple xp that's gonna be a level up for sure Evil gate spam is quite something. Whoa, what was that? That was interesting. Oh, I guess I was clipping into the bridge. I was like, what the heck happened? Okay, I can't clip through there. It was worth a try. Again, it's not going to do a lot of damage, but that stun lock is real. Evil Gate only costs 4 MP. That's actually pretty silly. How did they almost get Durin killed? That's honestly impressive. Right, chat? That's actually impressive to die as Durin. It's so much health chat. Even as stamina, like, what do you want me to do? Hmm. I guess we're just leveling our spirit now to go towards Feated Breath. Does give us some resistances, if I recall correctly, how that's supposed to work. Yeah, nothing I can really boost off of there, sadly. Whoa. Uh nice nice camera there, trials. With something. Don't don't blow it. I got this. Too bad. Oh, she threw it really far forward instead of around her. Hmm. Oh, it healed them because we're in the light dungeon. That's right. We need to use dark magic. Oh, this thing is ultra dead. GG. Look at that. Goodbye. Deleted that poor enemy from existence.
That was just actually unfair to that enemy. Nice, kill two, kill three enemies with it. Nice. You must have taken out all the enemies nearby. Don't need chocolates. We're just looking for seeds. So won't let me just jump off the side here, because I think we would get soft law. Okay, so there are two little cactuses here. I think one was in like the bottom left. Don't think either are on this side. Two more honey elixirs, which is good. It's one of our healing items. Let's just go this way. And again, if the bonuses were off, I think they served their purpose. We're at a good amount of cash. XP is pretty much where we need to be. I think the AI is recognizing it should be spamming Evil Gate, which is good. And again, it is useful. And she's getting all of her MP back. To me, oh, he interrupted. Unfortunate. She just walked up to class strike him? That is so rude. Oh, speaking of rude. I'd probably prefer it not to be daytime when we go to fight the light boss. <laughs> the little sound effects they make when you hit them. That's something. <sighs> Nothing to really clip on here. There's the little cactus we need to get to. One of two. Yeah, I know knowing what it's doing doesn't seem right. Yeah, it's probably unintentional. Chat just loves little cactus. You're gonna be thrilled when that character shows up in the next game. Ooh, excuse me there. If I'm on Mampado? Big damage. Barely broke a sweat. Almost leveled again, which is very silly. So I need the water to go down, but I haven't seen the thing that actually lowers the water, sadly. Got more money. Again, we're sitting at almost 50,000. It's pretty good. This felt like a candidate to go out of bounds, but... It's fine, I don't see anything I could do even if I did go out of bounds there. <laughs> A totally necessary fight end. Meter time. Nice. Very, very close to leveling. Treasure chest and another area. So I could go back around and get the chest. I guess I will. I got nothing better to do.
Yeah, we're very close to hitting 51 here, so we actually almost power leveled. Thanks to triple XP and how fast we're killing with our super items. Old item seed, that could be useful later. Um, guess I go to the bottom. So we're still looking for the little cactus. I think it was to the south. If I go this way, I might find it. There we go. Once we get the, the little cactus chain ability, the game is definitely over. All in easy mode. Getting getting all your meter back every time you come into a new area. Broken. Go ahead and get this chest. Is it possible to get this chest? No, there's a gap. I remember the struggle of getting this seed. I'm glad we didn't do it this time. There are steps there. Grab these, get the chest. If I get into the boss chamber fast enough, we'll keep the XP for the boss. Problem is, we have so much more to do. See, they're lowering my max health, but that doesn't super matter. Oh, I didn't realize there were three of them. I would have done a different attack had I realized that. Breaking all their guards. Oh, wow. That actually completely wrecked them. That was kind of embarrassing. It's over. It's over, champ. Hmm. Nothing there. Keep raising it in towards the magic boost. That feels like a good thing in the kind of end the thing our bonus is on. Since we have two spellcasters. Oh, if we're really fast, we might be able to do this. Probably not. No. Missing a switch somewhere. Where's the other switch? Oh, it's up there. It's up there. Uh, no, I'm not going to reach it. My bad. For some reason, I thought that was the place to go to the boss battle. Oh, well. Rip our bonuses. We'll kill these enemies to make up the XP. Yeah, almost at max meter. That's a good good way to start the boss battle. Almost 400% on everybody. Charlotte's not gonna level, but this is probably fine. I can tell her to just... Actually, I can do this. Healing light, chat. Yeah, we're gonna go really hard into this boss. It's... I don't even know what it's gonna do to us, if anything. I feel like we're just gonna stunlock it to death. Between all the element damage we're about to do, and the fact that we do bonus damage versus the enemy weakness... That is gonna be a lot of damage. Ah, uh, the mighty battle cry of ew. My favorite. Uh, probably want to do this. Did he? S Did it seriously interrupt that and then consume the item? That really sucks.
And then I also didn't get the darkness claw applied to me. That's kind of annoying. Double annoyance, chat. Stop landing on me from off screen. That's so annoying. Cancel my item usage again. What a jerk. I'm gonna hold this boss still for a little bit. This should do a lot of damage. Oh, look how much damage is. Are you gonna die to jump bonk? You got jam bonked. Damn chat. The jam bonk is ready. It's it's ready and it's real. Goodbye. They got bonked. And I defeated it with the glass strike. So we know the jam bong killed it, chat. I got the bonus XP. Monster. Josephine said had some good stuff. Oh, Peta! Oh, that was it. Um, we, we might as well take a look. Monster combo, chat. Getting close to magic boost. We might get it before the end of the game. In the meantime, we're just gonna make a mad dash towards Feated Breath. Also getting a 350 damage summon, I think would be a big upgrade for her. Yeah, that was some big damage. So I guess for now, let's go to the night market. Do what we need to do there, and then we'll save there. A good star. <laughs> I love me cutting them off. It's conversation. To the west of yeah, yeah, whatever. Island, right? I want to see how good... Too far. Those weapons they sell are with some good equipment. <laughs> yeah. If any of the final bosses are weak to light, they're gonna take so much damage from us. Because that light spell hits like five times, as a reminder. It's kind of unfair. Oh, do any of the armor... Do any of these stores actually sell shields? Or do we have the only shield? Lots of wares to browse. <laughs> Come again. Is it because I went the dark route? Like light dark that I can't get new shields? If so, that's pretty dumb. care about the icons. Don't care about the icons. Kind of disappointing so far. Helmet. Incense. New shield. There we go. It is kind of crazy that you can't buy them anywhere. Like, we bought a shield once. 
And honestly, that's not a really good stat increase. It's only six defense. We've seen how little defense matters here. Meanwhile, her helmet gives more than his shield does. Okay, well, at least I tried to make them very tanky chat. I tried. Welcome. Also, I'm pretty sure we beat the light boss during the day, and it did it, it the boss didn't do anything. That boss is pretty easy. I think we can agree. Has some annoying bonks to interrupt your abilities, but like its ability to do damage is just sad. Compared to the nonsense of the plant boss, or even to some extent the wind dragon boss. It's really not a threat comparatively. Well, lots of wares to browse. And we need like Good choice more. Not that many. Good 50 is probably good enough to last the rest of the time. So we have 42,000 for upgrades if we need it. We could get more light claws if I think I need them. Tori 15. I don't think I need more than that. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> Come again. No new dialogue there. Yeah. So we got a bazillion buffs. Feel pretty good about that. Eek chat. So let's save with our equipment. Welcome. So a little under 14 hours, even with story. We're almost done with the game. Crazy. And that involved me checking for out of bounds too. Okay. Let's pause here. Excuse me. How do we feel things went in this particular session? Well, we went out of bounds. We clicked through part of a dungeon. We saw some goofiness with the slides, but sadly, nothing really too interesting in some of the other dungeons. I think as long as it's like a vertical level or something where you have to go kind of horizontal for a while, it just makes more sense. To kind of clip out of bounds of those stages. But sadly, most of the dungeons we were in were all downhill dungeons, so it's like, even if we clipped it out of bounds, it's not too much faster. Oh well, I guess with how it is with that. So otherwise, we only have a little bit left in the game. We have Peta, whatever the bonus dungeon equivalency is for the Dark, Benevidon, then the final fights? So at least two dungeons and maybe three bosses? Well, three bosses on top of the Dark Benevidon, I mean. Because we're going to fight, like, the Crimson Wizard, then the Knight, then, like, the... A, a random one? Because we seem to have, like, a repeat boss. So yeah, I think there's maybe four bosses left in the game. And that's also why I didn't think the class upgrade was worth waiting on, because... It really, really, really sped up the normal encounters, and that's probably fine for now. We'll make up all the damages during. Chaining the class strikes is for our damages anyway. But anyway, I don't think I have too much else to add. I'll figure out what we're going to do with the upload of the other one. It's probably going to be a bonus thing, but uh, we'll see. But for now, let's uh, say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the bot, I'd like to say thank you for watching to see you again in the next part.